America. Come seek asylum in America. Now, you might remember this. It was after Biden and Harris. They told migrants, oh, come to America. Come seek asylum in America on the campaign trail. Biden literally telling migrants to surge the border. Let's play the videotape. What I would do as president is several more things, because things have changed. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're a nation that says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. Uh, president Sippy Cup seemed a little more alert back then in 2019. Now, the results of Biden's border surge have been catastrophic. In February, illegal immigration more than tripled. 100,000 Ill illegal immigrants apprehended in February, 170,000 in March, 178,000 in April, and a whopping 180,000 in May. And by the way, that's only the number of people we caught. There are record-setting numbers, a 30-year high for illegal immigration. And get this, more unaccompanied minors are now crossing our southern border than ever before. It is a crisis of a monumental scale. Border Patrol agents, I spent a lot of time with them today. They are overwhelmed, overworked, dangerous cartels. They are making millions in human trafficking and taking advantage of the fact that all the resources are being used to basically process people illegally into the country. That gives free reign to the drug dealers, the human traffickers. We know where 90% of America's heroin comes from, our southern border. We know the fentanyl crisis. We know the number of deaths that happen each and every week, about 300 all across America because of these drugs. Migrant facilities now operating at over 300 percent capacity. And with the help of the Biden administration, illegal immigrants are being relocated all over the U.S. in exchange for a mere promise to show up to a late court date if that date is even given out. This crisis has no end in sight. But instead of reinstating the successful policies of Donald Trump, well, Joe Biden, he punted all border duties to his vice president, Kamala Harris, who for months and months flat out refused to even visit. When she finally decided to make a stop in Texas, well, she had time to stop by El Paso for a couple of hours on her way to Los Angeles. Uh, one big problem, El Paso is not where the current crisis is happening. It's happening right here where we are. And according to a new Harvard-Harris poll, voters now rate Kamala Harris's performance on immigration as poor. The same poll shows that 68 percent of voters believe the Biden administration that they are to blame for this surge. 61 percent also blaming Biden for the surge of unaccompanied minors. 55 percent think Donald Trump's border policies never should have been undone. 80 percent think illegal immigration is a serious issue. But it's not clear that the Biden administration is able or willing to secure our southern border. Actions, they speak louder than words. And to that end, during his presidency, Donald Trump visited the southern border all by himself six times. Joe Biden has never visited, not once. Just think about that. Now, tonight, we're here of the crowd of great Americans, including many friends of President Trump. I see my friend Louis Gohmert is in the crowd. Congressman Billy Long, he is here with us. Governor Abbott will join us on this stage. But first, joining us right now, right here in South Texas, the 45th President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Wow. This is a big crowd. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 